Hello guys, this is me Sharon and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crochet this mermaid tail purse. And this is a crocodile stitch worked in rounds. And then I'm going to show you how to work an increase if you want to achieve this kind of shape like the uh, mermaid. And also I'm going to show you how to make the tail and then add the uh, zipper. So this one is made of a local yarn called In The Fill. It's four ply kind of yarn, untwisted. And I'll be making another one actually, and this is where I will show you how to start to make one. And I'll be using this kind of yarn. It's called Love Knots. And the recommended hook size is 4, but I'll be using 3.5 because I want to, uh, I want my tension to be a bit tighter and because I crochet a bit loosely, that's why I'm using 3.5. Now you can do 4 if you want to. And then for this project, you will need a zipper, a D-ring if you're planning to attach a wrist strap. And of course, scissors and yarn needle. Now, uh, for this project, if you're gonna use the same kind of yarn that I've used, and you want to know the uh, exact size, it would be six inches. That would be the height of this mermaid tail purse and. 15 centimeters and you will get this kind of size if you use the same yarn but if you're gonna use this one I'll be telling you the size after finishing the project but of course I'm gonna show you how to add the zipper and it will be shown in the later part of the this video using this particular uh, project here but just in case you don't want the zipper I am going to figure out another way um, to um, add a closure if you don't like adding a zipper so anyway let's get started project I usually start making the uh, crocodile stitches in rounds so this is where I usually start with the project and later on with the uh, tail so the crocodile stitch is in multiples of six so we're gonna start working 12 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. So once you have 12 now, you're gonna work a slip stitch on top or into the first chain made to create a ring. Now to start, we're gonna work a foundation for the scales or the crocodile stitch so this is what we do every other round so we are going to chain three which counts as one double crochet chain one for the chain space into the same stitch we're going to work one double crochet Next is, we'll be skipping two stitches, one, two, and into the third, we're going to work another V-stitch. So we have one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch as the double crochet and chain one. 
So we're going to continue doing this until the end of round. Skip two, work another V stitch, chain one, one double crochet. By the time that you get back around, you'll be skipping the last two chains and into the third beginning chain, which counts as one double crochet. That is where you're going to work your slip stitch. So this is round one and we have one, two, three. Four. So we have four V stitches. And then to start with a crocodile stitch, we're going to chain three into one of the V stitches. So we have this V stitch here, and we're going to work four more double crochets into the side of the V stitch. One. Two, three, and four. Chain one. Now we're going to work another five double crochets into the other side of the V stitch, which is this. So we're going to work five double crochets in there. One, two, three, Four and five. Now after that, we have created one crocodile stitch or one scale. Now into the next V stitch, we're gonna work a single crochet. So we made a crocodile stitch and one single crochet into the next V stitch. Now into the third V stitch we're gonna repeat working a crocodile stitch so yarn over and into the next V stitch work five double crochets so we have one two three four and five chain one yarn over and then into the other side of the V stitch that is where we're gonna work again five double crochets two three four and five and then into the last V stitch work a single crochet so we did our round two and it's done now there's a hole in here which is just normal because this is where we will actually attach the tail now for the second part or round three we're going to work another foundation so that we can make a crocodile stitch into the next round now we're going to work an increase into the next round so this is where we ended round two where we did one single crochet and we're going to chain two which counts as one double crochet chain one for the chain space one double crochet into the same chain space and then because we're going to work an increase we're going to repeat so yarn over work 
one double crochet, chain one, and then one double crochet. Now we're going to repeat working one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, and another one. So we have two V stitches here. So in here, we're gonna work two V stitches as well. So one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So on round three, we're going to work two v-stitches into the very first v-stitch of this round two v-stitches into the middle of this scale or crocodile stitch and we're just simply going to repeat that so the next v-stitch would be just underneath this two scales which is here as you can see so there that is a spot where we are going to place another two V stitches. So one double crochet, chain one, and then one double crochet. And then we're going to repeat that. So we need one more or two more. There we go. So this is the last of the uh, crocodile stitch or scale and we're back to where we started now we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the second chain because one single crochet and chain two makes one double crochet and chain one here is the uh, chain space so on the uh, second chain that is where I will work a slip stitch so now if you remembered the uh, on how we started the uh, crocodile stitch we usually chain three and we work our very first crocodile stitch in here so same thing, we're going to work four double crochets and chain one, two, three, four. So we have five double crochets and that includes the chain three, chain one, and then into the uh, Next double crochet part of the uh, V stitch, we're gonna work our next set of five double crochets. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Now remember, after working your V-stitch here, you're going to work a single crochet next to the V-stitch. So we're actually working one crocodile stitch and one single crochet. So that is what we should always repeat. So if you're losing one V-stitch, that means you have lost counting. And it should have two V stitches, a pair of V stitches in order to complete this pattern around.
into the next stitch we're just simply going to repeat working a crocodile stitch and then a single crochet in here crocodile stitch and then a single crochet until we get back around all right now I have done my last crocodile stitch and uh, by the end of this round you should have one remaining B stitch every time and then work one single crochet in there so as you can see we have increased the next round by two crocodile stitches so initially we have two and then we did an increase now we have four now because you want to have a gradual increasing of this project to make it look like this so usually what I do is simply continue working just one V stitch in every spot where you should add the uh, V stitch and as you can see if you're going to count the next round it will still have the same number so this is the uh, first round basically it's gonna be second because we have to do the uh, foundation so one two three four so round five will be the foundation for the next set of crocodile stitches so the next set is one two three four so we still have four stitches in here so meaning we did not do an increase so what I'm going to do next is just simply working one V stitch into every V stitch so I'm gonna start by chaining two which counts as one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same space and then in here in the middle of every crocodile stitch I will also work one V stitch in here in the middle of this two crocodile stitch there's a hidden V stitch there so I'm gonna work another V stitch so there's no increase on this round and I'll keep doing that until I get back around So to end around, you're going to work a single crochet and then I'm going to work one more round of one V stitch just like what I did in here and then work crocodile stitch and then one single crochet into the next V stitch. So basically I'm just repeating this previous round to make another layer of four crocodile stitches
Okay, so to end the round, you're just going to work a single crochet in here. And then you're done. Now, I have mentioned to you before that there are two ways on how to close off. Either you want to add zipper, in which I'm going to show later on. But if you would like to make it as a drawstring, then you can just work chain 3. This will count as one double crochet. And then, if you find it's tall enough, you can just reduce it to just working chain 2. And then, into every stitch, including this stitch next to the chain 1 space, work a double crochet double crochet in here double crochet in the middle of this crocodile stitch work one stitch in here one stitch into the chain one space and that's how you can work single crochets or double crochets across until you get back around. Alright, now I'm on my last stitch and it's here. And then I'm gonna work my six stitch on top of this chain two here. And that's it. So we're finished. Slip stitch here. All you need is to stop working after this last stitch here. You can now cut off the yarn. Do this here. And we're going to make an invisible joint. So you have created a chain. So the next step is we're going to bury this tail. And you can go through this. here For the drawstring, you may chain up to 60 or more. For the uh, drawstring, I'm going to use a different yarn which has the same color combination as this one. There's a little pink in here so I'm going to use this one for the tail and for the string. 